Hello and welcome back again to another video. In this video, we're going to look at how to create these text effects. As you can see, the different effects of text there on the screen. We're going to look at one specifically today, and that is this one here. So let's get started. In the project bin, right click to create a new text. Type in your text. Align the text. And if you want to, you can change the color or you can change to any gradient if you have created some gradient here. But for now, let's just leave it as white and create our text. Bring this to your timeline and make sure to place this on video track 2 because we're going to place a clip under here. So with this, first of all, we want to use three different effects to create these text effects here. So let's get started. In the effects panel, make sure to be in show all video effects. And the effects that we're going to use is under stylized. So let's go down to stylized. And the first one is Sobel with plane. So let's go down to S and here is Sobel with planes. Or simply you can just type here. So Sobel with planes. Bring this and apply to your text. And you can see it does something there already. Let's go to the settings here. First of all, in the planes, we want to change this to alpha. The reason we want to change this to alpha because we're going to place a video clip under here for now. When we place this video clip, you can see the text is not in alpha, but the black text is there. So what we want to do is change this to alpha. So let's go to the text effects and then change this to alpha. And as you can see, it's already creating this nice text effects with the uh, like overlay thing here. So the next one is to bring the scale up to somewhere around 200, just to get rid of some little edges here. And then the delta. So it depends on the choice that you want, whether you leave it as negative 300, bring it down somewhere here, or bring it all the way down here to have this kind of effects with a delta. So whatever that you want to, up to you. So that's with the first effects. The second effects is the glow. So let's look for glow. Here's the glow. Bring this and apply it to your clip. In the glow, there's only one settings here. So that is the blur. So we want to be in between somewhere around 100, 80 and 200 so you can see once we bring the slider up you can see the effects that it does to the text so we don't want more glow here but we will just want somewhere around here something like that and then the next effects we want to use here is the emboss so let's go to emboss here and then bring this applied to your clip and as you can see that's nicely saved emboss text on your clip so with the light direction, we don't want to do anything with the background lightness. We don't want to do anything right now. You can play around with that, but we want to go to the bump. So in the bump, I want to bring this up to around 40 to nicely bump this text up somewhere there. So we want to apply this to our text. So you can see it's nicely create this bump on. So we can really bring this one up or we can bring this light down. Okay, so you can see the background here is kind of like fading out. So in the Sobel here, we control this using the Delta. So it's up to you. So after this, if you want to apply some little um, text animation, uh, one thing that we have been, been talking about before is using the um, rectangular alpha mask here. So just bring this one down and then place in where you want the text to be disappeared. So add a keyframe, bring this all the way to the end somewhere there. Add another keyframe, you can use the left or right or top or bottom and then bring this to remove the text effects from the video. And you can add a little bit of bread somewhere around 100, nicely removing that. Okay, again, Depending on the text, you can remove this by using the um, delta here. Let's bring this one down somewhere there. So that's how we can create these little uh, text effects that you can use for any other project that you want to do. Thank you again for watching and um, hope to see you back again in another video.